I'm just a person on the side. You're not on the side, sweetheart. You're on deck with everybody else. I want to be honest with you. You're on deck with everybody else. You're on deck with everybody else. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Crime Circus Cult. My name is Drip Drop, and I'll be your host as often as possible. This is a video within a series. It's a super special series. It's been highly anticipated. It's been a long time coming. I've been holding onto this series for six months, but I'm such a busy guy that I have so many videos to release to you. If you want to consider supporting the show, please consider becoming a Patreon member. I'll leave a link down below. But anyways, this video is one episode within a series. You're going to have to stay tuned for the rest of this series because it's going to be a lot of videos and you don't want to miss a single one because it's a really good interrogation series. This case involves multiple people with multiple defendants and multiple things that happened. Love triangles, love disputes, all kinds of things. Young men fighting over a young woman. Let's check out this diagram that's on the screen. Right here we have Seth Jackson. He's on the top of this chart because he's the victim. Directly below him is Amber Wright. She's the key piece to this entire case because Seth was her former boyfriend. And over to the left on this chart is Mike Bargo. That was Amber's new boyfriend. You can see there was a bit of a love triangle, a bit of a love dispute happening here. Over to the right side of this chart is Kyle Hooper. That's Amber Wright's brother. That's right, brother and sister are implicated in this crime. Just like in the Macon, Georgia case with Michael Brett Kelly and Courtney Kelly. If you haven't seen that series, check it out. It's right here on this channel and I'm gonna link my playlist down in the description box. Down below Amber to the left is Charlie. That was Amber's best friend and she was the homeowner of the mobile home that this crime took place in. Last but not least down to the lower right hand side of this diagram is Justin Soto. He was the older man hanging out with these younger humans and he was apparently dating Charlie plus doing other stuff too. Even though Charlie's husband was locked up in the Florida penitentiary system. That's right ladies and gentlemen there are multiple love triangles in this case right here. You don't want to miss any of these episodes. Well now that you've seen that diagram Let's jump right into this and see what this first defendant has to say for herself. And I'll see you at the end of this video. Come sit right in here. I'll see you in that chair. Um, Are you? Good. About Good. To go crazy. About to go crazy? Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't need that. I'm the detective go with the sheriff's office. Charlie. Charlie? What's your last name, Charlie? Ely. Ely? Ely. E-L-Y. Okay. How are you doing? <coughs> Good. Sorry. How old are you? 18. 18 years of age. Okay. Do you, do you know why you're here? Yes, sir. Why are you here? Because, um... Something happened with Seth. Something happened with Seth. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
understand that we had a deputy bring you down here because of what may have happened with Seth, okay? There's an investigation that we're going to investigate. Are you clear with that? Okay. Um, at this point, you're not in any trouble or anything like that, okay? Just want to make that clear to you. Okay. All right. Well, we'll take it slow. I'm in no rush. But I do definitely need you to be honest with me. I need to hear your side of the story. Okay? At any time that you don't understand anything, stop me and I'll try to explain it for you. Is that is that fair? Mm -hmm. Okay. Before we begin, let me just get some general inf information from you, okay? Okay. Give me your name again, sweetheart. Charlie, C-H-A-R-L-I-E. Middle initial is K. E-L-Y. -E What's your date of birth again? July 11, 92. You finished high school? Yes, sir. Okay. High school diploma in my house. Okay. Where do you live at, Charlie? Um, 3896 Southeast 53rd Avenue, Somerville, Florida. <coughs> 34491. You have a phone number? My cell phone is area code 301 401 0711. You have a home phone? No, sir. Who all resides in, in, in your home? Who all lives with you? Do you have any kids or anything? No, I'm expecting. You're pregnant now? Yeah. How far along are you? Not completely positive. So you haven't? I haven't went to a doctor yet, which I'm really slacking on because I'm scared. Okay, so you don't, you don't know if you're pregnant or not? No, I know I'm pregnant. But you haven't taken a pregnancy? I have taken a pregnancy test. I have went to a doctor, talked to a doctor, well, like, I called the doctor. And they said, well, make an appointment, and you're most likely pregnant. So. You're most likely? Yeah. Okay. But I'm, like, showing like this. Okay. All right. Um, Who all lives with you in this house? Justin. Justin? What's Justin's last name? Soto. Spell his last name? S-O-T-O. How old is Justin? How old is he? 20. He's 20 years old. Is that your boyfriend or anything? No, I'm married and my husband's a new person. Are you married? What's your husband's name? Joseph David Burhan. Spell his last name? B U R H A N. What's his date of birth? July 13th. He'll be 22 this year. He thinks 89. What is he in prison for? Do you mind if I ask? Violation of probation. Okay. He's actually in prison, not here at the Mary County Jail? No, they just transferred him about three weeks ago so, to the reception medical center in Lake Butler. How long is he going to be in, in, in prison? Earliest he can get out is April 14th of next year. The latest is September 23rd of next year. Okay. Is this the only person that lives with you, Justin? There's Justin. Kyle just moved in not even a week ago. What's Kyle's last name? I don't remember. He's over there. Okay. Y'all all came in together? Mm-hmm. Okay. Who else lives with you besides Kyle? Well, Mike was staying, but he was there for a week. And Mike? Then, um, Bargo. Spell his last name? B-A-R-G-O. He was staying there, and he was always in and out and everything. So, okay. Like, so right now we have you, Justin, Kyle, and Mike. Mm -hmm. And uh, Amber doesn't live there, but like she's been over, like spending the night at my house for the past like week. What's Amber's last name? Right. W right. W R I G H T. So she just hangs out there. Yeah. Mike lives there. He like moved some. He has some of his stuff at my house. Like, and how long has he been living there? A week and a half max. And Kyle, how long has Kyle been living there? A few days. Like I think it was Friday when he came. A few days. Yeah. And how long has Justin Soto been living there? Three, I think three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. 
before we begin. Okay. Again, this is a possibly a criminal investigation that we're, we're conducting. Okay. And I'm going to read you your rights. Okay. You understand that? Okay. Can you read and write the English language? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to insult you or anything, but I just want to make sure. Okay. You clear on that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just understand when I communicate with you instead of nodding your head, just communicate back with me with a yes or no or with an explanation. Is that, is that fair? Yeah. Okay. You want to read along with me? I don't like reading out loud. I keep on with it. Okay. I, I'll read it for you. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questions if you wish. You can decide at any time to execute these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I've read to you between one and five? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Okay. Do you understand each of these rights I have explained to you? Yes. Okay. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk? It says us here. I'm only one person. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to change that one little word to me. You wish to talk to me now? Yeah. Okay. You indicated yes to both of those. Put your initials here and here. Sign here and print your name right here for me, okay? Well, you haven't read mine yet, so I'm sure it's a lot better than mine. Do you know what today is? April 14th, I think. How about April 19th? Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Tuesday. The other day was April 16th. Huh? <laughs> the other day was April 16th. <laughs> okay. The other day had to be April 18th. The other day, like... A couple of days ago. Okay, all right. But we're clear, right? Yeah, we're good. I'm just, since my husband's been in jail, I haven't, or jail slash prison, I haven't really been keeping down days. You could hire anything? Can you do drugs? Um, I'm pregnant. (laughs) Okay, well, I mean, I have have before. When was the last time you've done any, any drugs? A few weeks ago. Okay, so you haven't had any type of drugs, any alcohol, or anything like no. that? Do you drink alcohol? I have before. You have before. When was the last time you drank alcohol? Haven't. Um, I don't even remember. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't remember. <laughs> but when you do drugs, what, what what type of drugs do you do? Marijuana. Just just marijuana? That's it. No I will other. not touch anything else. No cocaine, no prescription medications, none of that? No. Okay. And you haven't had any... I haven't had any marijuana, I want to say, in two to three weeks. Okay. So right now, you're telling me you're in your right state of mind. You're clear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your thoughts are clear. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So you're able to hold a decent conversation with me and understand exactly what I'm saying to you? Yeah. I know it may sound stupid, but I just want to be sure. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to sit back and uh, pretty much just give you the floor. You've, you've already explained to me about, why you think, why are you here, okay? I know why I'm here. Explain to me why you're here. And be honest with me, totally truthful. Hold your head up. Okay, Sunday night, was it so, yeah, Sunday night, Amber and I walked up because her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend was sad and he, they wanted to work things out, so we met him up. Um, this is Sunday night? Yes, sir. At 58th Court, it was approximately 9.30. So you met him on the corner? Yeah. Okay. They talked. For what corner did you guys meet him on? I think it's 58th Court. I want to say that's what it is. And who all met there? Me, Amber, and Seth. No one else was around, nothing. Okay. What happened after that? They were talking and like, they were talking. So Amber and Seth were talking? Mm-hmm. Amber wanted me to go along because she was scared. I mean, it was dark and everything. She didn't want to go by herself. Mm-hmm. So <coughs> she went up there. We, well, we both went up there and they wanted to try to work things out. 
and they were there for about 30, 45 minutes tops. And then his mom, then he and his mom got in an argument, and he he just stormed off. So when he stormed off, we went back to my house, and about an hour later, he came to my house. So about 30 to 45 minutes? Yeah. We talked to him. You guys talked? And then after that, we were, we were headed to my, we went back to my house. All three of you guys went back to your house? No. Seth went off the other way because he got in an argument with his mom over text. And who did Seth leave with? No one. He was by himself. And he walked away and didn't get into a car or anything? Mm -mm. He walked away he, and like we tried to stop him but he got mad and he pushed Amber away and just walked. <coughs> and after that Amber and I went back to my house and we were just goofing off. Who was home when you got there? Um, Kyle was there. Justin had just left. I'm okay, but sure. I'm, I'm asking who was there when okay. you when you Kyle never... was there and um, Mike was in his room. Where was Kyle at? He was in the living room. And Mike was where? In his room. Okay, what happened then? Me, me and Amber were goofing off and whatnot, and then. I hear a knock at the door. It's Seth, and he so Seth comes back. Yeah, he came to my house. And how long? How long was it when it you was guys? About were, an hour. So an hour after an you hour, guys got home. Yeah. So after an hour, Seth came back to your house. Yeah. Okay. What happened after that? I let him in, and he sat in the chair. You let Seth in. Yes, I let him in. Because he said he wanted to talk to Amber. So I let him in, not thinking anything was wrong with it. Didn't know that Mike had beef with him or Kyle. But that's later on. Um, and he sat down in my chair. And where, where were you guys sitting at? Okay. Living room, bathroom? Living room. Okay, so he came in. He came in. He and sat down in the living room. past my kitchen, because you gotta walk through the kitchen. He sat in the chair, and us girls sat in the on the like sofa. It's a three seat sofa. Okay. <laughs> can Can you draw me a drawing of your your house? <laughs> I guess. I, I, I just want to try to get a a, a picture of what like exactly. Well, yeah. there, my house is a crime scene, so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> draw me like the front door. How you come in the living room? I'll start with this. This is the whole house itself. Okay. Front door is approximately here. Okay. And right. FD. <laughs> Just right front door there. Uh, door. Okay. You have any windows up front here? I've got window here. Okay. Window. Can I get for you? That's fine. And then there's like pretty much like a baby. You have a back door here. to this house? Yeah, there's a back door approximately right here. Okay. Okay. Now block the rooms off for me. Show me where the oh, living yeah. room is. Okay. Small bath. And then my room goes about right. There. I just put my room. Put Charlie. Mm -hmm. and the door is right there. And right here would be the door. This would be Mike's room. Okay. There's the closet, like right here. Closet. My closet's right there. Okay. There's a What's all this other part of the house? Okay. Here's another bathroom. Bath. 
doors like right here. Um, then it goes. I'll tell you what, let's start from when you walk into the room, when you walk through the front door. It goes like kitchen out to there. So you go through the kitchen before you go into the rest of the house? Yeah, kitchen. And then, <laughs> that's really bad, but living room. So it's a pretty large living room? Mm -hmm. Sort of, kind of. I kind of. How many bedrooms in the house? Two by two bed. Um, like I said, there's windows right here. Okay. Show me how the chairs are positioned in the house. Okay, this is the chair here. Chair. Is that like a lazy board chair? Or just it's a just like, chair? it's like a chair that's just like, that's just there. Corner it's chair? A regular chair, yeah. Okay. We, well, we made it. And then here is a two sit sofa. Like a love seat. Yeah, love seat. Okay. And then here is three C, three C sofa. So. So when you walk in, and you have to you have thing. to go through this way we in between. To, yeah, because my back door sofas. doesn't really work. Yeah, we have to go through here. Okay. Is there a dining room table or anything here in the mm, kitchen? Area? No. There's a. Let me draw that out too. Yeah, just just show more like where the countertop and stove and stuff like that is. I'm just trying to get an image picture of where you are in this house. Stove, ST, countertop, counter. What's this over here? That's another part of the counter? That's a fridge. Okay. I'm sorry, this is like a really bad drawing. That's, that's, that's quite all right. And then this is sink. Okay. So you can, are you able to look through here? Is this all open? Yeah, you can actually look through from where the sink is. You can look through, but yeah. everywhere else there's a thing. Okay. There's a wall. Um, is all this, uh, what's, what's on this wall right here? There's actually like a, win a bay window. Okay, so there's nothing yeah. over here at all? And there's a, like a little cabinet space. Is there a, diner, is there a table or anything in there you guys, yeah. you know? Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then here so is... So you just hold your place basically? Pretty much. Okay. Right there is a cover. Okay, you don't have to do that detail. That's fine. So when you walk through here, you have the love seat and yeah. the three cushion that you have to walk between. Uh -huh. Is there any other living room space or any other? You have a TV or anything? In there? There's a. Shit, I don't remember. We just like moved around my um, living room like. Well, just picture it the day that it was Sunday. There's like a entertainment center here. E N C E N T E. Oh, okay. And I have I don't know if my black table was down at all. Okay, but pretty much. What it, you, what it's how it's how it like right now how it is. It's exactly how it was that night. Okay. But Seth came through here. He sat on the chair. Amber and I sat here, and then, um... Okay, put C for you. C and A. And Amber, okay. And S. That's where Seth sat at? Mm -hmm. And Michael was in his room, right? Michael was in his room. We didn't even know he was there. Well, I thought you said when you came home, like, Michael was there. We came there. home, but, like, we didn't really know that he was legit there because he was quiet, but I kind of had a feeling he was there. Okay. Because his room, where, his where, light was on. Where was Kyle sitting at? Kyle was over here. On the love seat? Yeah. And okay, then, put a K where Kyle was. And then I think he went, like, he grabbed, like, he grabbed a piece of wood or something and went and hit that. Where did he get the piece of wood from? I don't know. I think he had it either by the seat, the sofa, or, I mean, because it was in the middle of conversation with Amber. And okay, now, exactly, let me back you up a little bit because I don't want to get up. I don't get up. You want to write it down? No, no, no. When when you open the door and you let him back in, you go back and sit down here. Yeah, and then I Seth sits here, over sit here. here. Amber sat here, and then Seth sits there. Okay, now how long was Seth there before Kyle hit him with a stick? Five ten minutes. Okay, what was the conversation? Well, it wasn't the well. Kyle had beef with Seth because he had hit Amber before. So Kyle already didn't like Seth? Yes. 
Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't okay. have a good understanding of that. Okay. And he so were they know. arguing first before mm -hmm. he, he just... No, nope. Amber and Seth were talking, and Kyle comes out of nowhere and hits him, and me and Amber dart to my room. Where, where did he hit him at? <laughs> Over the head. And what happened? Did he fall to the ground? He, he looked like I didn't really see anything. I mean, he kind of looked like woozy, because like, I looked back and while me and Amber were running to my room. And where was and he And Kyle at? said, get the fuck out. And he went out that way, and we hear Mike's door hit something, and Mike came out, and we heard gunshots. Okay. So want to make sure I got this right. Anything. Okay. want to make sure I got this right. Seth comes in and sits in the chair. Mm hmm Seth and Amber are talking. Mm hmm Kyle gets up, gets a stick, and he he's... Had, he had, he, like, grabbed it and, like, okay. just... He strikes him across the head, you say? Yes. Now, if I'm striking you across the head, what's going to happen? He, like, went across, like, I, I... Did he fall down out of the chair? He just went like that. Did he say anything to him afterwards? No, he didn't say anything. Kyle said, get the fuck out of the house, and Seth got up and started walking, and then that's when I heard Mike's door okay. <coughs> go against, and um, Mike went after him, and that's when we heard gunshots. So Mike went after? After Seth. I don't know where Seth was. I didn't know if he was in the house, because after I saw... We saw that Kyle had hit him, and we ran into my room. So you and Amber went into your room? Yeah, we were mainly in the bathroom. Okay. And then... Kyle told Seth to get out? Yeah. He said and as far as you know, out. Seth got out? As far as I know, I didn't see anything after that. Let me ask you something. Was there any blood here in, in your living room when you guys came back out? I didn't see anything. Be honest with me. I didn't see any blood in my living room. Um... Because we had been in my room for a while. Because was anything moved in your in, the, in your your house? Was anything different from the point that you seen Kyle hit? There him? was stuff here. There was stuff at my back door. What 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 was at your back door? Like it was very like it had like there was bags of clothes and I think a TV and the what happened to it? It like was moved. Moved to where? Like the center of the room. It was moved to here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why was it moved to the center of the room? <laughs> Don't know. Did they, did they go out your back door for some reason? I think. I think. Um. But okay. Mike came out. We heard gunshots, and Mike like he ran into my room, and he told me and Amber to shut up. If we said anything to anyone, he would fucking kill us. So this next. is after the gunshots. Yeah. He came back into the house. Yeah, with the gun. And he was waving it around. What kind of gun was it? It was a revolver. Okay. I mean, he's like, it's like touching shit. So our fingerprints are on it. Okay. So he came back in your room and told you what? He said, you guys don't fucking tell anyone or I'm going to come after you next. Tell anyone what? About what happened. You like, didn't see what happened, did you? So obviously, no. did he tell you? That's he, what I want to know what he happened. He said, don't say anything about the gunshots. Okay. And then he said, and stay in this room or I'll fucking kill you too. Listen up. This is what I want to try to get a good understanding about, okay? When Kyle hit Seth over the head, you and Amber, you're telling we me, darted. you went into your room. You heard Kyle tell Seth to get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. I don't want to give, I don't want to put words in your mouth. Yeah. I just want to... And I heard, like, I and thought after... I heard the door shut. The front door? Yeah. Okay, but then you said you heard Mike come out of his room, mm -hmm. and Mike. Like right before I heard the door shut, I heard that his door slam, <coughs> and him running across the house, and then. How do you know it wasn't Kyle running across the house? I heard someone running across the house because I'm pretty sure Kyle was here. Okay, so you don't know. That's what that's what I'm trying yeah, to get an understanding. You saying you heard you said I Mike. So how can you say if it's Mike or Kyle? Kyle's heavy set. Okay. I can tell the difference between... Okay, but you heard guy. Mike's door open. Yeah. And you heard someone run out of his room. Yeah. Shortly after you heard someone run out of his room, that person ran out of the front door? I want to... I mean, I heard, like, two gunshots, and I think it was in my house. Inside the house. Inside the house, like, okay. before Seth could actually get out. All right, this is what I want you to... I want you to just make sure that you and I are on the same page. Right down here where you have all this other room at? Mm -hmm. If you're right, we can start with number one and just write, you let you let Seth in the house, right? I just want to make sure that you and I have a clear understanding of what's going on. 
that's fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. Just number it? No, you don't have to number it. We can just go down. I just want to make sure that you and I are clear. If there's anything that you need to think about while we're doing this, because once like you... Things will pop up. There you yeah. go. There you go. Yeah, I just want to make sure... Else, yeah. There you go. So you let Seth in the house. And then once Seth is inside the house, Kyle hits Seth with a stick. He, well, Seth sat down in the chair. And then Amber and him were talking for five minutes, and I guess... Okay, you can put Amber and Seth were talking. And I don't want to put words in your mouth, right? But I just yeah. want to make sure that we're on the same page. Oh, yeah. And then what happened after that? Is that when Kyle hit him with a stick? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kyle hit Seth with a stick over the head. Okay, then what happened? After Kyle hit Seth, what happened? And me and Amber ran, like, into my room. Okay. After, right after that, I heard Kyle yell at Seth and, sorry. That's fine. That's saying, can I, you want me to put cuss words or not? That's totally right, exactly what happened. You're not, you're definitely not going to offend me by any means, okay? Like, I mean, I feel bad for, like, even cussing. That's, that's fine. It is what it is, okay? Now, this is where you and I kind of got <laughs> confused at. That's why I want to make sure we have this chain of events yeah. in order. After when Kyle told Kyle him to get out, know. you said something about you heard someone running out, but then you said you heard two gunshots inside the house. And that's why I want to make sure that I'm pretty sure you... I heard two or three. Like, I, I was so shaken up after that first one. I Okay, that's fine. That's what I need you to put. Okay. Whatever chain of events that happened... Did you hear someone or hear Mike's door or whatever you heard? I don't Mike's know. door slammed against the hallway because, like, right here is, like, the hallway, actually. Okay. And it slammed against the so hallway. So you heard Mike's door? Yeah. Okay. Did you hear Mike's voice? Mm -mm, I didn't hear him say anything. Okay. And then what did you hear? A couple gunshots. Okay, how many did you hear? Two, two or three. Okay, Put you heard two or three gunshots. Shots in the house. Okay, now what did you hear after those the two or three? The front door. I heard my, because, like, there's the outside front door and then, like, a screen door, and mm -hmm. it slam if someone, like, opens it too quickly, it'll slam against the cat cover. Okay. So, and then I heard... Well, just tell, tell me the story, because I want to make sure we get it. <coughs> I heard, after a couple, after these, like, gunshots, I heard, like, the screen door, like, slam against the cover. Okay. And what happened after that? And then... I guess everybody was outside. I don't know because we didn't leave the room. Okay. And we heard like a few more gunshots. Okay. So you heard a lot of activity around the front door? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you just put in your words, like you heard whatever, heard the front door slam. And then what did you hear after you heard this commotion around the around the door? Is that when you heard more shots? Uh, yeah. Heard How many shots did you hear? Four or five. Okay. I don't know because like I know Mike's gun holds six bullets and one one thing like clip. I guess it's called. It's not a clip. A it's a revolver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a cylinder. Okay. I know that for a fact. Okay. So he must have like changed it out. He must have because he had two cylinders. Okay. Tell me what you heard then. <coughs> four, four, five, four 
And what did you hear after that? Nothing really. I, like someone came in. No. After that, we didn't hear anything because Mike ran in and came to us and said, "If we tell anyone that we heard the shots or anything, he'd kill us." And he okay. said, "Stay in the room." I want to give you some room here for while you're running out. Just put exactly after you heard the gunshots. I guess Mike did. Mike come into your room and say this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did he have the gun in his hand then? Yeah, he was waving it around. Which hand did he have it in? It was his right hand. Okay, you just document that there. He like kind of left the room, like kind of like turned around to leave the room, and then he turned back, and then he said that, and if we left the room, then he'd kill us too. Okay, so he told y'all stay in the room. Okay. And he said, don't open any windows. Okay, we'll put that down there too. So you said he left the room and then came like, right back. He, it's like he turned around. He didn't really get like far in the hallway because my hallway is like. Mm -hmm. So, like, he went and, like, he turned around and came back in. Okay. So, how long was it were you guys in the room after he left the last time until you were able to come out of your room? I don't know. Like, we pretty much fell asleep. Like, we tried to fall asleep. I mean... Give me a give me a time frame. How long you were? I'd say a few hours. Did you hear anything that was going on? I heard my back door open. Okay. What else did you hear? Mike yelling and screaming. What was Mike saying? You fucking idiot! This is what you get. Who was he saying that to? I don't know. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. If you can finish that. You want to write this down? No, no. I'm. I'm you. You're good. You're good. Okay, now you're to the point where Mike leaves and comes back and tells you guys to stay in the room or he, or he, he threatened yeah. you at that point. You said you heard. twice. Okay, you said you heard, you kept hearing the back door open and close? I heard like the back door open and like, I don't really know, like I just heard a bunch of shit like, like he was Moving doing stuff something. around? Yeah. Okay, you documented that. <coughs> Like you said, you heard the back door open and you heard a lot of stuff moving around or whatever. Because I don't know who it was who was moving around. Okay. And that's what I want you, I want you to be able, whatever you're telling me, you're going to have to be able to say this without a fact. Not you heard or you speculate. Yeah. This is this is all fact information, okay? Yes, sir. Now, did you hear any voices or anything that you told All me? I heard it was Mike's voice. Okay, and what did you hear M Mike saying? This is what you fucking get. Okay, if you can...
Do you know who Mike was talking to? You don't? Okay, that's fine. Now you're telling me you were unable to see anything because you were inside the room. He told you not to look out of the window. Yeah. Did you look out of the window at any no. point? Okay. Because so, we were scared. Okay, so now we know that one of your senses, which is your your visual seeing, is gone. You yeah. said you were able to hear yeah. Mike yelling. making yelling, making those statements. Correct. Were you able to smell anything? My I've been sick. My nose have been has been clogged. Okay. Like I'm just finally. Okay. Getting it back. All right. So is that all you heard? Yeah. Like, and I just kept hearing my back door open and close. Okay. And that, and put that down there after you heard him say that you just kept hearing a lot of activity or something in the back the back door opening and closing. And how how long did all this take? This just this part. Yeah, of him the back door open and closing, him making those statements. I felt like. The statements, <coughs> it was like 15 minutes after you get, like, it was going on, like, for 15 minutes after okay. he came in and told us to shut up and not do anything. All right. Are you missing anything from your house? No, I mean, I haven't really been back. Like, I've been back a couple times, and I... So you haven't been home since Sunday? Like, Since the day you woke up, I, you said you fell asleep. fell asleep. We went to sleep that night and, like, woke up Monday. And, like, Mike, like, said something. I can't remember what he said. He's like, are you guys okay? We're like, yeah, we guess. And he said, I swear if you fucking say anything, I'm coming after you. Okay. All right. Now... Let's, let's go back to Sunday night when you, you heard the back door open and closing. You heard Mike make those statements. Um, what else did you hear before you say you went to sleep? Like, commotion outside. Okay. Like, what? I heard leaves going around because my back, when my windows don't completely close in my house. You heard like, what going around? <coughs> I heard leaves, like people walking in leaves and stuff. Okay. So you just heard a lot of commotion out back of the house? What's out back? Is there some type of shed? Pit. There's a fire pit out back? Hey, talk to me about that. Well, me and my husband made a fire pit so we could burn some brush and stuff because mm -hmm. code enforcement was called on us. When was the last time you guys used that fire pit? Shit, before he got arrested. Has it been was, used since then? No. We were, I was going to do something but hadn't collected up anything Has it looked like someone's used it that fire like pit? It looked like someone had used it. Because there's That's what I asked you. Does, does, it, does it look like it, it's been used recently? Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead and finish what you were doing. You said you heard a lot of noise out back. I'm just going to say commotion. Cause That's I heard. fine. Or noise, commotion, or whatever. Oh, there you go. That's Is that good. right? That's, that's, that's not right, but that's good enough. That's okay. Now, did you hear anything from this point until you went to sleep? Just a bunch of commotion. I kept getting like woken up by like leaves and stuff. So that was pretty much throughout yeah. the night? Okay. Can, I don't want to put words in your mouth again, but you're saying you heard that throughout the night, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you just finish that up, what you were saying, you heard commotion? I just want to make sure that we're, we're clear. So now we're into the next morning. Yeah. Monday morning, correct? Mm -hmm. What did you no, see or hear? You didn't what? wake up. I didn't wake up until about 11. Okay. And then I didn't see anything wrong with my house. Like, I didn't see anything really moved around. Like, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in the middle of my living room floor. Okay. So can you put here, you went to you went to sleep. Do you know about what time you actually fell asleep good? Like a good fall asleep, two, three. 
Okay. I want to say. And you put that that you went to sleep about two, three o'clock, and you woke up about eleven. You say. Okay. I feel lazy saying I woke up at like eleven. That's okay. Okay. And tell me what, what happened after that. When you woke up at 11, did you see, smell, hear, touch anything? Like, I didn't hear, really see or hear anything. Like, out of the ordinary, I mean, Mike, like I said, my nose has been stopped up, so I can't really smell anything. Mm -hmm. And Mike came into the room and he said, I swear if you guys open your mouth about anything about last night, I'm going to come after you guys. So he came into your room. Is that when he woke? Is that when you woke up? When he came? Like into your I woke room? up and like I was going, like I went to the bathroom and stuff, and I guess he realized that I was up, mm -hmm. and then that's when he came in. Okay, so can you say that he came back in? I guess he threatened you again. He threatened you not to say anything. Is that what it was? Okay. I'm so scared that he's gonna get a hold of this. I'm gonna get hurt. And you can just summarize it up and just say he came back into the room and he threatened you guys not to say anything if, if that's what happened. Well, Amber was out in the living room. So it was just he, he came to your room and you were there by yourself? Yeah, I went to the bathroom and walked out and he was there. Okay. Now what happened after he threatened you again? He said, I gotta go. I'm going somewhere. Okay, and he left? Yeah. He said, I'm going somewhere, I'll be back later. And me and Amber went up to my friend Chris's house for... Did for you look friend. around your house or anything to see what... what like, I, mean, I was you had to be around, curious about something, right? I was looking around, but I didn't see anything. Like, I didn't see really anything. I mean, my... The only thing that I really noticed was in my bathroom, my shower doors... Not my bathroom, but the guest bathroom. The shower doors were down. Okay. And we're, we're, and we're talking about... Here's a shower. Now, are there sliding glass doors? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. They were down how? They were down. They were right here up against like the wall. They were like and taken off the track? Them. Okay. All right. Now, you just go ahead and put there. You say Mike left. Mike left and, and then is that when you guys got up and started looking around and like we didn't really look around a lot because we didn't really want to be in the house okay but what did you notice about the house it like i just like it looked like cleaner than what it was like okay. the the kitchen floor like it tracks mud in easy and stuff it looked a lot cleaner okay so if you can just put that the house appeared a lot cleaner than what it was um you had also mentioned something about uh, the doors. What the bathroom doors? Mm -hmm. And it was something you you mentioned also about uh, some clothes. In the middle, like kind of like in the middle. Of the okay. Room. Have you talked to any anybody about this at all? Like I tried, like I was trying, I tried to say something to Chris. But well, did, you to did any, any other law enforcement talk to you at all? Yeah. And you know, what did you tell? Did you tell him any of the story right here? I was scared because it was last night. You just told him about the story about you seeing him on the corner. Yeah. Is that the story you told him? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the reason why you lied to them is because of. I'm scared. And the reason why you're being truthful with me today is because of? Because I don't want to get in any more trouble than what I probably already am in. Okay. All right. Okay. Because I have no record. Okay. So. Great. 
Now, what else did you notice about after you noticed the clothes, the house was cleaned up, the tracks were off the shower? Um, what else did you notice about the house or anything thereof? Like, there's like a stain on my concrete that I actually didn't notice that morning. But I just concrete noticed. where? If we're looking at the house. <laughs> That's where there's concrete slab. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, don't worry about it. That's, that's fine. There's a concrete slab. Mm -hmm. I noticed that there's like a stain, like stains from being cleaned or something right here. Like, because there's steps. Mm -hmm, two that's steps. Fine. And now. Just like, draw circles where you might see the stains. There. there. And then it like runs off like here. And I have a three wheeler here. Okay. And a motorcycle like right Okay, there. that's fine. You don't have to draw all that. But do you notice there's some stains there? Yeah, it like looks brighter than... What okay, you can just put stain here and draw, draw a line to where you... Did you notice any stains inside the house anywhere? Mm -mm. Okay, now you had mentioned something about this burn pile that it was recently being used. It looks recently used because there's... Have you looked at it? I haven't looked at it. I've been too afraid to. Okay. Um, like, I can see, like, over top because we've got, like... How deep is this burn pile? It was, like, last time we used it, it was about a foot, foot and a half feet. Like, about that deep. Like, I could stick my foot in it. Okay, that's about there. a foot, foot and a half. Yeah, it's like, up to there. Okay. How deep is it now? I'm not really sure. I mean, I can see some debris over top of the rocks. Okay. Oh, like, it, it's it it surrounded looks, with rocks? Like, they're surrounded it as, like, cement, like, I don't know, like... Like a burn pile pit or something? Blocks, yeah. Okay. Because that's what made it into, like, we had to do it because code enforcement. And now I see, I can see, like, metal, like, coming out from underneath, like, coming out. I can see a metal rim. And I think, and I just, just like, I'm like, I'm just going, I can't. Okay, if, if you can document that, and that, that, that'd be great. And just after you noticed all this stuff, you also noticed that that burn pile has been used, or it had recently been used, or something, to, however you want to word it. I, again, don't want to put words in your mouth. <laughs> Would you like a drink of water? Okay. Used Let me get you a drink of water, and I'll be right back, okay? If you think of anything, because I want to go over this when, when I get back, and if there's anything that you can remember, let, let me know, okay? I know that, like, where the burn pile is, I, like, kind of scoped it out a little bit more, like, earlier, because I was trying, we were trying to find that, like, thing, a chain for my dog to be on. Mm -hmm. And I noticed... One, there was this huge log that was, it was like a broken tree that was right behind my lot. It was dragged over and it was burned. Okay. okay. And a couple different things were burned, so. Okay. All right. I'll be right back and get you. I've been talking pretty much we've been talking about Mike Kyle and, and Amber this guy Justin Soto was he there when this happened I didn't see him anywhere like I don't think he was there I think he was talking about going and talking to someone in another neighborhood about a job that he has to do like next week okay so there's no so, like, nothing to show that he was there yeah okay I want you and I to go over this. I want us to be clear. Okay, mind if I come right here? Something I want to talk about prior to 
in the point of you saying that you guys were at 58th Court talking. Okay. Um, that'd be Seth. Me and Amber. You and Amber. What, what were they talking about? They were talking about like getting back together because they had dated before. Was it a heated argument between the no, two? No, it was a perfectly fine argument. Like, perfectly right. fine. Well, it wasn't you have a perfectly it wasn't fine argument. A perfectly fine conversation. Okay. Like, and he was saying. Did how they agree or did they disagree on what? They, they agreed. They agreed. Like, and, and yeah, what, they wanted they to get back the... together, but they wanted to take it slow, be friends, and take it slow, and like see where that takes them. Okay. So why did he get upset and storm off? Because his mom was texting him saying you have a right either now or never or something like okay. that. And he got pissed off at his mom and he said Now the question the next question is gonna be <coughs> very important. Why did he come back to the house? Did somebody call him to the house or did he show no, up on his own? He came back, like he asked Amber where like where she like she, he knows that where I live. So like he was saying, like, Are you with Charlie? And she said, Yeah. Explain it. What do you mean? Like, he knows where I live because of okay. his friends. So did he, after he left? No from, one talked to him. So how did, he, how did he know Amber was at your house is what I'm saying. Because, like, we were already taught, like, he he was like, are you staying with Charlie or something? He, and she said, yeah, like, before okay. in the conversation. So he just showed up to your house unannounced. Yeah. No one asked him to come there. Okay. When he got there, was there an argument between Seth and Kyle? No. Like, there's really nothing. There's, like... There wasn't really. You're saying not really. That's me. that's like you being pregnant. There wasn't. I am pregnant. Okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So there, there either was an argument between the two, or there wasn't an argument between the no, two. No, there wasn't. Like there wasn't even any word exchange. So when when Kyle hit Seth on the head, was that just? It was just like out unexpected, of yeah. out of nowhere. It was. So they weren't arguing or anything. No. But, like, I, what I didn't know is Kyle had, Kyle and Seth had beef as it was. Okay, so they had prior beef. Yeah, because Over what? Seth had hit her, his sister, had laid his hands on Amber before. Okay, and he didn't he like him because of that. Historically, he didn't like him because of that. Now, you had mentioned earlier about that you had noticed that your house had been, cl had been cleaned. Mm -hmm. What type of cleaning supplies do you have at your house? You have... I had... Like, I don't really have any. I've got Fabuloso, two, like, bottles of Fabuloso, but they're still there. I had a bottle of bleach on the counter, but that's not there. So you had bleach and it's gone yeah. now? I can't find it at all. Okay, so bleach is gone. And then... Anything else that you notice is like, gone? I didn't notice anything else because I didn't really do a thorough check of everything because I really wasn't thinking that anything... Let me ask you a question. Something was brought up to me about uh, some paint cans. Mm-hmm. Five gallon paint cans? I had two in my house. I think it was two or three in where, my house. Where are they now? I don't know. But I didn't notice those were missing because they're leaned up they were leaned up against the board. Were they empty? Or no, they actually they had, had paint? they had paint in them. Okay. Have you yeah. seen has the house been painted? My no any portions my, of the house like, has been painted? My husband painted the house be, when in November. Okay, but and since Sunday, has no. this house been freshly painted? No. And you, you're telling me you don't know where these five-gallon paint cans are? Mm -hmm. Have you, where, where are they normally kept at in the house? Where there's the two seat, um, where the love seat, you love call seat it? is. Mm -hmm. um, there was a board that was leaning up because I block off the kitchen because of my puppies. Actually, my puppy would get out and whatever. We'd put her in the kitchen when it got cold. And there's two five-gallon buckets, right, holding it up, pretty much. Okay. And now, are they I there? I don't even think about that. Okay. But I haven't seen them. I don't even know if the board is still there. Okay. This is what I want you to do. I know we had went went down on this uh, in the order of things, and then we're, we're pretty much at, at the point where you say you had noticed that the, the uh, burn pile has. Burn pile had been recently used and it had been a fire or something there. Or you noticed some burnt something? I I noticed a burnt like notice like there's this like it was this really big like tree thing. Mm -hmm. And I noticed it wasn't in the back. Mm -hmm. And I noticed it's closer towards it's the pile. At itself. the pile and there some of it's burnt. Okay. 
if you can just document that for me. And also, if you can document with what you told me that you have cleaning supplies, you have bleach at the house that's no longer there, and you have a couple of five gallon paint cans that's no longer there. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even think of that. Okay. Until now, until I mentioned it to you? Yeah. Okay. And, and that's why we go that over these things. Me. That's why we go over these things I'm to just make trying sure. to think of what else is not there. And that's what I, I didn't that's what I need you to do. That's why we try to go. <laughs> I try to do this type of interview so that we can see exactly what's been missing. Okay. What's it called when it's like, isn't it charred? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's, when you're saying something's burnt? It's like burnt, and it, but it's like black and gray. Mm -hmm. It'd be looking like, like this, like the tip of that? Oh, the five gallon, the five gallon. Okay. Yeah, tell me what you, what you noticed has been missing. You had in, indicated that the bleach, is, the bottle of bleach, or whatever jug of bleach is, is missing. One gallon. Would it be one gallon? Yeah. Bleach. Missing off of counter. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else. Like right now, I, I'd actually have to go in my house and look around and see. Okay, that's fine. Like, and and, we, mean, and we may we may end up doing that doing that later if you're okay with that. I mean, I'm really shook up, but I mean, it needs to be solved and shit. That's my. Okay, that's what I was going to show you. I want to show you a couple of photos. You can tell me who these people here are. Okay, uh, but but before we do that. I know I read you your Miranda rights, and I want to also uh, read you something else also. This is a consent to collect your saliva standards, your DNA. you have any objections to that? No. Okay. All right. Read this along with me, okay? This is to clarify that I, and then your Sorry. name is going to go there, to hereby give authority and consent to the Mary County Sheriff's Office to obtain saliva standards from my body via the oral swab. It's just a small Q-tip mm -hmm. that goes in your mouth, okay? Like on the shows. Yeah. I'm a... When it comes to those shores. It says mine, but it's and you. My Authority attorney. and consent is also given to the Mary County Sheriff's Office to make full use of these samples through investigation and prosecution in any crime, criminal matter, matter under the, the law of the state of Florida. Okay? So if anything goes down and I give it to you now, then you can use it against everything, no. like in the past or just no. this one? No, in this case right here. Well, actually, I don't even know why I asked that because I'm not getting in trouble. Okay. <laughs> This authorization is given freely and voluntarily by me, which is going to be you, without coercion. You know what coercion is? I didn't bribe or coercion or threaten oh, you yeah, under yeah. duress, under any type of stress, yes. or did I threaten you any time to make this, to give me this uh, sample. Correct? Yeah, right. This is free and voluntarily. Voluntarily. Dry. I'll do My it. tongue is kind of dry. Just put your Drink name water. here. <laughs> right here? Yes, ma'am. No, that's not fair, so. I still haven't changed my last name yet. That's fine. Today's, Today's date is going to be the 19th. 4. 4 19. It's actually 1250 p.m. 
2011. You forgot what year it is? I'm still stuck back in 2010. <laughs> wow. It's okay. It takes it's a little while. 12 what? 12.50 p.m. 50 p.m. I, I just wish I was back in right? high school. I mean, 2010 was a really big year. I graduated high school and turned 18 and all that. And just and Are you working anywhere now? No, I got to get a... <coughs> I have to get a um, job. <clears throat> I want to show you a couple of photographs. If you can tell me who these who these people are, if you recognize these people or not, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to hide anything from you, but yeah, I, I just don't, I don't, don't want you to see the names because I don't want to oh, okay. say, okay, identify these people based, I'll off, over here. based off the names itself, okay? Mm -hmm. Who is that? That's me. Wait, how'd you get oh, okay. my license? That's me. That's you, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who's this person? Seth. Okay. But his hair was cut. It was trimmed. That's Mike. Okay. Well, these pictures may not be exact as people are today. Okay. But it was them at the time. That's kind of Okay. So you know everybody in here that we, we just got finished talking there. about. All right, I'm going to give you a break. Okay. And I'll be right back with you. A break I have to stay in this room? Yes. In this small room by myself. Yes, it'll be all right. I'll crack the door if you need me to. Mm -hmm. All right. How's that? That's good. Alright. I can actually see out. Okay, relax. I'll be right back with you. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Hi. Come on. Hi. Hey. Not gonna bite you. I'm just, I grab a few people in here actually. Um, I'm Lisa. <laughs> and this is Kathleen. Hi. And uh, they talked to you about doing some swabs. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna take your picture and do some swabs. Oh, I have to go right now. Oh, I'm the picture's not going anywhere. Nobody's no. gonna see it. Just, just your goes. face. Now, this is just to show who you are, okay, uh, for, to go with the swaps. What's your name? Charlie Ely. Is Charlie your... Um, name? Yes. Yeah. Okay, C-H-A-R-L-I-E. Mm -hmm. uh, do you use the middle? My middle is K. Just a K? Or K-A-Y? It's K-A-Y. Okay. And your last name was? Ely, E-L-Y. And your birthday? July 11th, 92. Oh, alrighty. And, <clears throat> okay. okay. Charlie, do you have any tattoos? I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're going to take a picture of those two. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> no? I just want to Oh, you want to get out? Oh, okay. Yes. Bye. <laughs> I just want to have her I've got one right here, but. I just want her to sign something before I. Where I, where I go. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what I said. Just a second. You and I went over this, and um, mm -hmm. correct. This yeah. is what you wrote out. Yes. Sir. Okay. If I can just get you to sign it, sign and date it right here at the last page on the bottom. Okay. And then print your name under, because your handwriting is like mine. Hey, be nice. Oh, oh. you said it's like yours. Okay. <laughs> Your um, I like your name, Charlie. That's very unusual. Is it after anybody in particular? Angels. No. Oh, okay. Charlie's angels did not come out in '92 or before. <laughs> well, I used to work with a guy whose name was Charlie, and his daughter. You remember what the date is, Charlie? There you go. My dad's name. Remember what the date is? The nineteenth. There you go. <laughs> Who's your dad? Charles Charlie. Eugene Ely. Well, this was a different Charlie I knew. <coughs> um, Thank you. I get up. Nah, my dad's. I hate him, but yeah. All right, let's see okay. the tattoos. I got those two. You can put your wrists together. Yeah. 
On you, but do you have any scratches or marks or anything like that? Any injuries? Yeah, a bunch of bug bites. Oh, that's okay. Um, nothing that you really. There's know. a scar. I've got scars on me. Oh, oh that's fine now. Just okay. But, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it. For that. And then the swab. This is a sterile cotton Q-tip. I'm gonna take it out of the package. It's on TV. <laughs> oh, okay. And Kathleen's gonna rub it on the inside of your cheek. And then she's going to start on one side and then move it over to the other side. We'll just sit still. We'll be right back. What does that mean? That's my the day that I got married. And that's my husband's name. A tattoo or actually? That's like, a tattoo. You want to try to scrub it off? Oh, no, no. I was just wondering because it just looks kind of funny. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Every, everything that you have told me today is the truth. Yeah. The whole truth. Mm -hmm. And nothing, nothing but, but the, the truth. truth. You swear to that? Yeah. Right here. That's everything right. that you have told me today is the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. Yeah. You're telling me to you put your hand out that you had no involvement in this crime. No, I have not. Okay. All right. And I'm just asking you that for a reason. Because if you had, this is this is your opportunity now no, to come I forth didn't. and say, hey, listen, just like you had the opportunity, you see where I'm getting at? Like you had the opportunity to begin with when you talked to the deputies, and you've already told me the reason why you didn't tell them the truth. Yeah, I'm scared. Okay. Well now you're not afraid. I still am. Okay. Well we you don't are. Know where he is. But we're we're working on that right now. Okay, and I'm gonna assure you your your safety until we locate him. Okay? But now that I you know have the a opportunity. Couple other people that he has threatened. Okay. That's and fine. they're not here. Okay, that's fine. We're working on getting other people in, in here also. Okay? Understand this is why I came back in here. To make sure that everything that you're telling me is the truth. Yeah. If there's anything else that you need to tell me, this is your opportunity now to say, hey, listen, I forgot something. I need to tell you something. Because the opportunity only really only knocks once. Yeah. Okay? All I've told, I told you that he has let, like, every one of us hold his gun and mess with his gun. That's fine. So I know my prints are on it. Well, we're talking about Sunday night. 
<coughs> Monday morning that everything that you documented on that paper for me is the truth. It's all the truth. Yes, sir. Is there going to be anyone that comes back and contradicts your statement? It shouldn't be. Okay. I mean, me and Amber were completely shook up. We didn't know what to do. I wanted to call the police so bad, but like... Did you have your cell phone with you at the, in the room that night? Yeah. I wanted to call the police so bad. Did you call anybody? No, I texted my friend Chris and said, I miss you so much. I just need someone to talk to. Okay, and that's on your your phone? That's on my phone, but I never got a text back or anything. So okay. I was like... You understand, we have, we also have a text. If yeah. you're able to text somebody, you can also text the sheriff's office. You know that, right? It's called 911 text. I forgot about that. I, every time I call the jail, I forgot about that. It's like 352-351 and then 9111, right? Something like that. I don't know exactly, but there's a, you can text if you're afraid. I'm, I'm just wondering if... But I wish I would have because me and her sat in that room so scared that he was just going to turn around and get us. Okay, okay. Did she have any involvement in it? No, she was with me the whole time. Okay. All right. I'll sit tight for just a little bit longer, okay? All right. that I read to you mm -hmm. and always I'm, I'm reiter reiterating that is because we left the room I want to make sure that we had a break in between mm -hmm. that that you clearly understand your rights mm -hmm. you have any questions about your rights mm -hmm. okay you still are willing to speak with me yeah I don't know if I need a lawyer or not but I don't okay. think I do no it's fine I'm it's backing fine. away if you tell me you need a, yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't need one I mean I don't have one and I don't I don't okay. need one you want me to read you your rights again so you totally understand? Yeah, I understand. I got it. I'm just... Well, I'm going to read them to you. There's a bunch of things that are going through my head. Okay. Well, I'm going to read them to you. Okay. <clears throat> Off my card, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Mm -hmm. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. Yeah. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questions if you wish. Uh -huh. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. No. You understand that? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> do you understand each of, these, each of these rights I have explained to you? Yeah. Okay. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to continue to talk to me now? Yeah. Okay. And all the reason why I read you that is because you had that little, that little yeah. question in there and I want to make sure that you totally understand yeah. and that we're crystal clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you telling me you want to speak with me without your attorney? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> now, in the beginning of this case that I had spoke to you about, if there's anything that you need to tell me, that was the, your time and your opportunity to tell me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there anything that you want to tell me before I start asking you questions? No. Okay. I just remembered about that cut. Okay, well, that cut has nothing to do with this case here. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. I need you to be totally honest and truthful with me. Okay, because we have uh, talked to other people. We've talked to Kyle. Yeah. 
Okay, and Cal has told us his new version of the story. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's from at this point he's been totally cooperative. Okay. okay, I know there's some things that transpired prior to. I know there were some conversations prior to about something happening. I wasn't involved in that. I don't know what he's talking about. I mean, it might have been between him and Mike, but I don't know. You, you and Amber were involved in this. I don't see how we went up and met him. Mm -hmm. And then, like, he walked off well, with his mom. Well, let me explain something to you. Cal is already, and I'll be honest with you, has implemented you in being involved in knowing or having knowledge to this thing transpiring prior to it happening. But I didn't. Okay, let me explain, to, I'll explain something else to you. The reason why there are some questions and the reason why I went the way that I did with questioning you is because I also felt that there was something different. Yeah. Okay, and this is your opportunity. If it, if it happened, you guys talked about it, I need to know. Okay? I didn't say anything. Listen I mean, to me. I didn't hear him talking about it. Listen to me. This, this what doesn't make sense to me. You're telling me that you, you guys are in this house. You drew out a, a diagram for me. Of your house, where everybody was sitting at. The C is for me. The A is for Amber. The K is for Kyle. The S is for Seth. And then Mike was in his room allegedly, correct? <coughs> okay. Who else was at this house that you did not put in there? Um, Rose was there, but he wasn't there when that happened. Yes, he was. I didn't see him. How did Rose hurt his knee? I have no clue. I don't know. After, I don't know. Let me explain something to you. <clears throat> if someone is sitting in your house, and you just told me that this conversation between Seth mm -hmm. and Amber, when you guys off of on the corner, yeah. was about their relationship getting back together or becoming friends or... Yeah, getting back together and stuff. Okay. And you said that he just un unannounced himself and just came to the house. Is that correct? Yeah. No one told him to come to the house. No. How did he come to that house? Because I'm telling you right now, there's a different story in that other room. I mean, he walked. I mean... I understand. He probably walked with his, toe, his left foot and his right foot, one in front of the other, and he physically came to the house. We, we agree with that? Yeah. There was some still... How did, how did he get to that house? Someone asked him. Someone coached him. Someone told him. He got to that house. I by mean, what means? Amber... Like, we were going to have him come over, but then... For what? Just to talk. No. But, like, that's all I know, because You Amber, just talked up at the corner. Amber and Mike started talking, and she wanted... She texted them. But that was before we even talked at the <clears throat> corner. This is, this is where you need to be truthful with me. You need to be truthful with me. Because right now, you're beating at the bush. Okay? And you're not being truthful with me. Can we both agree on that? Yeah. Because you're not being truthful. This is your opportunity. I know nobody likes Seth. I didn't know. No one liked Seth. I this happened know. at your house. At no time did you ever say, when Kyle hit Seth across the head with this stick, board, or whatever it, this object was, what the hell are you doing? What's going on if you didn't know what was going on? You see the picture I'm painting now? Yeah. Obviously, you had to know what was going on, okay? Because any person in their right mind would have asked this question, if you and I are sitting in this room, and wh whoever sitting over here, and I just start beating the hell out of him, aren't you going to want, what's going on? Yeah. You never said that. You know why? You know why? Yeah. Why? So you knew something might have happened? Exactly. Mike has said something about, like, exactly. kicking his ass, but nothing. <clears throat> and that's, like, it. No, you left that out. You know a lot more than what you're telling me. I know a lot more than what you're telling me. Can we agree with that? Yeah. Okay. This is your opportunity. For you to be straight up with me. For you to be honest. I can see that you're holding a lot back from me. It is what it is. Okay? It's out in the open. 
this is your opportunity to tell me everything that you know. Tell me the extent of your involvement and your knowledge prior to, because I know you know. Like I said, he wanted to kick his ass for laying hands on Amber and everything. And he said that we should go meet him and then bring him back, but he didn't want to come back. So he kept like going back and forth. Who didn't want to come back? When you say him and her, I don't know who Seth. those people are. You have to give me names. Seth didn't want to come back. So I was like... Let's back up a little bit. Him. Let's back up a little bit. <coughs> when did all this conversation start? I don't even know, like, it started right before, like... A couple of days? No, it happened, like, that day, like... Earlier that day? Mike said, yeah. Mike said, hey, Amber, text Seth and see if you wanna, if he'll hang out with you. For what reason? Do, I don't know, like, he said that he wanted yes, to his ass. You do. Everybody know what was happening in the house. Cal knew what was happening. Cal is telling you're still not there yet. You're not there yet. You're well, almost there. I thought You're was almost like, there. No, 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 no. About they, his ass. That's it. it was a little bit more than that. They had uh, this whole thing has been planned. Can we agree with that? I mean, I don't know. Can, like, can, I wasn't can you not agree with me that this thing was planned prior to him getting over to the house? You knew that he was coming over to the house. Can we agree on that? Okay. <clears throat> so you knew after the point, but you met him at the corner. That you guys were going to get him to the house. You knew that he was coming. It wasn't like it was unannounced, correct? Yeah. So you lied to me about that. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. That's what I'm trying to get to understanding. We're almost there, but we're well, not. I'm we're not scared, there yet. Though, like... We're not there yet. Okay. Like I guess they were planning it out or whatnot, but I had like been talking on the phone with like. <coughs> My friend Megan in the front yard or whatever, and I don't know when they planned it. I really don't. They said, Amber said You may not about. know, and I'm going to give you this one. You may not know when the, the initial plan, but you were part of the plan once it got started. Can we agree on that? Yeah. Okay. But, like, I didn't know exactly what was going on. All I heard home oh, said to you me what was, was I want to kick his ass. You and knew I what? Said, I Let me explain something to you. Idea. Let me explain something to you. I don't mean to cut you off, and I apologize. We haven't just sat in this room, correct? Yeah, we have. We've been in this room earlier. This is not our first time. I'll tell you what. Yeah. This is not the first time you and I have met. Right. Right? Okay, we met earlier today. When Kyle hit Seth on the head with that stick, and you and Amber ran in the room, and you heard the shots, you knew exactly what happened. Right or wrong. From that point. From from that point, that's what I'm getting at. From that point, you knew something bad had happened to Seth. Yeah, and I was too afraid to even like come to the. Okay. Thing. We've gotten there. Okay. Now I want to back up a little bit further. You knew that night that that Seth was never going to walk out of your house. I didn't know he wasn't going to walk out of my house because all I was told, I was seriously told by Mike that all he wanted to do was talk. And probably beat his ass. That's it. That's not what Seth is saying. Seth. You need to be honest with me. You need to be honest with me. I mean, I no matter how bad it may seem or it may look, okay, it's look. It looks worse for you to to sit up here and continue to lie. Okay, you've already lied to law enforcement one time, right? Yeah. You've already lied to me. One time, right? Are we are we just gonna continue lying, or is this the day that we're gonna be totally truthful? I knew about it. Like they didn't say he was gonna kill him, but he said he <coughs> wanted to kick his ass, and he made a comment that he he might not be out, he might not come out of it. So you knew that his life was gonna end that day. I didn't know for a fact. He said it might not. Mike had told you. That all I want to do is scare him. Scare him? Yeah. But That's not the same not story that we're getting in the other room. And I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you that there's other people saying totally things that are different than, than what you're saying. Okay. okay. Mike pulled me aside. And what he told me might be different from what he told everybody else. No, you were all right there together. You all knew about this. You, Amber, Mike, Roach, 
Everybody. Kyle, you all knew that when Seth came to that house, that he was not going to leave that house. You knew, based off of your actions and what happened when Kyle hit Seth on that head with that stick, and you guys ran in the room, you separated yourself because you knew what was going to happen. Okay? Understand, I'm not going to ask you a question that I may not know the answer to. Okay? Yeah. It's up to you if you want to be truthful with yourself. Because I told you, you, you can paint a bad picture, or you can paint the truth. And you've painted some bad pictures because you've lied. I know, but I'm Okay? Scared. And it's like a puzzle. If it doesn't fit, it's not, it's not going to look right. Can well, we agree I with that? I sat all down and had a conversation, and he's like, I want to kill Seth. And I said, that's you... not a good idea. And he's like, yeah, I want to kill Seth. So I said, that's not a good idea. Okay. <laughs> and then, like... When did that happen? That happened earlier that day. Okay. And then he had Amber text Seth, said, hey, can we hang out? Can we make everything better? Mm-hmm. And then, like, me and her, like, went and met him. Mm -hmm. And then he walked back with us, but I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know Mike was serious. And then, like, when Kyle hit him over the head, that's when we ran into the room because we didn't know where Mike was. Like, we thought he was in his room, and obviously that's where he was. But, like, we didn't know where he was with the gun. So you guys knew, basically, when you when you painted this picture here for me, or you drew this diagram. <coughs> basically, Michael stays in this room to stay out of the picture until it, it all went down. Is that a yes? Yeah. Okay. There's a reason why I had you do this. There's a reason why I asked you certain questions. Okay? Yeah. This whole thing staged. This whole thing, based off of what you drew for me, is a staged scene. It's not just a, what a coincidence, that we go back to the house and Kyle shows up. Seth. I'm sorry, that's, I, thank you for correcting me, that Seth shows up. You had your opportunity at the street, Seth left. You guys had to call him back, because you know what? Seth likes her. I know he does. Mm-hmm. And you guys played on his emotions because of his love for her to get her to get him to the house. Can we agree with that? Yes? Yeah. So you knew when Seth walked in that <laughs> based off of the conversation that you had with Mike earlier, and Mike told you that he had planned on killing Seth. Yeah. And then when you guys left. What happened when you came back to the house and Seth wasn't with you guys? Is that when Mike had you call him again? He threw a fit. Mike threw a fit. He threw a fit because he was pissed. You know why he was pissed? Because he wanted to do it. Because he, and you knew that's how serious he was. But I was scared that he was going to hurt us. Okay. But you knew, based off what you just told me, that he was just that serious. Because when you guys came back to the house without Seth, he got pissed. At that moment, you knew that he was dead serious. If you didn't know in the beginning that he was dead serious, but, I didn't but you knew him right then. I think he pulled Amber out of the house and like had her call him back. I didn't know. But you knew when Seth came to that house, and you opened that door for Seth, that he would never walk out of that house alive. You're nodding your head, but I'm, I'm not getting any verbal communication yes. from you. Was that? You knew that Seth was never going to walk out of your house alive. Is that correct? Yeah. Where is his like, body at right now? I don't know. Mike wouldn't tell us. Did you see Seth's dead body? No. I did not at all. I was too scared to even go out of my room, especially after Mike coming in and saying, Stay in here, I'll kill you. Did you clean up anything in your house? No, I didn't. Hell no. I wouldn't be able to. I didn't see any blood, nothing. So basically, your role and Amber's role was to get Seth to the house, knowing that Mike was going to kill him when he got to the house. 
Is that yes, correct? I mean, yeah. Okay. I mean, I didn't know that Amber called him back until he showed up. That's not, that wasn't my question. What, you said something wrong with your eye? Okay, don't yeah, irritate it. Yeah, my eye hurts because I'm fucking blind in it. Okay, but don't irritate it by rubbing it. That's going to make it worse. Okay? Hold your head up and talk to me. The question that I asked you was that you knew when you left the house, you and Amber, to go meet Seth up there, your role in this play was to get him back to the house. Correct? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to put words in your mouth. I just want to make sure this is what I'm, I'm hearing. And when he didn't show up to the house when you guys got back there, Mike was pissed off. Yeah, I just wanted to leave, but he wouldn't let me either. Why haven't you told me any of this? Because I'm scared. Scared of what? <laughs> that I'm going to get charged or something. And I'm just a person on the side. <coughs> you're, not, you're not on the side, sweetheart. You're on deck with everybody else. I want to be honest with you. You're on deck with everybody else. You knew what was going to happen. You partaked in, 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 a, in, a, in a small role in this in getting him to the house. Did you not like Seth that much? I didn't even know him. So why would you do that? Because Amber asked me to walk with her. No. You could have stopped this at any point. I kept telling Mike it's not a good idea. It's you could have stopped idea. it. And was Mike walking behind you guys with a gun? No. So you were separate from Mike. You could have boarded this mission a long time ago when you left the house, correct? You had you you have a cell phone. I was just thinking that, that Mike was going to end up shooting me. You wasn't at the house with him. You and Amber had left. Is that correct? Yeah, but if we like... You had the opportunity at that point to abort this whole mission. Is that correct? Yeah. You could have left, called 911, and said, this is the plan. This is what they're planning to do right now. I don't want no part of it. I want an out of it. Right? When the deputies made contact with you, and you found you, this report was filed, you had the opportunity then because Mike wasn't there. Correct? Yeah, but there's people that was there that knew Mike. I, it doesn't matter. You need to worry about you and that unborn baby. Is that correct? Yeah. That was your opportunity, sweetheart. You knew a crime was going to get committed prior to it even happening. You partaked in a role in the coaching him to the house, along with Amber, knowing Mike's intentions. Correct? Yes. Now, let me ask you, what do you think should happen to you? If you could say something to Seth right now, what would you say to him? Just get away. I'm sorry. Just go. I wanted to tell him so many times to don't even go. But you didn't. If I'm Seth, and I'm looking at you right now, and I'm asking you, why didn't you help me? What would you say to me? I was scared. Why didn't you help me? I was scared that Mike was going to pull a gun on me. Mike wasn't there. Mike wasn't there. When we were on the corner, Mike wasn't there. Why did you let this happen to me? I don't know. Why did you let this happen to me? What did I do to you so bad? Nothing. Well, why did you let this happen to me? I don't know. I didn't think it was going to go that far. I really didn't. Take some time here to relax for a second, okay? I need to go to the bathroom. Okay.
I have a female officer come get you in just a second, okay? Yep. I treated you fair? Have I been honest with you? Mm -hmm. Have I coerced you in any way? Have I made any promise to you for, of, of anything? Mm -hmm. Is there something you'd like to ask me? I don't know. Let me ask you a question. We talked about this bleach. Yeah. Where did this bleach come from? It came from a counter. Was this bleach purposely bought for this, or is this something? No, it was bought for my clothes. So something you already had yeah. there at the house? I've had it for like a month. Okay. What happened to this bleach? I don't know. I think they used it to clean up. Did you? I didn't use it at all. I was in my room. Okay. So you didn't partake in cleaning anything no. in your house? You, you Did you see blood anywhere in your house? I didn't. Because they were like cleaning and shit. I was in my room too. You were in your room too. Explain that to me. I was in my That's... room. Like, no one was around me. Where was Amber? Well, she was around me, but no one else was around me. Okay. But me my and course... Amber were sitting in the uh, bathroom and, in my, and on my bed, like the whole time crying and holding each other. And Knowing what when, happened? And that's when Mike came in and said that ne don't come out. Well, I know a lot of stuff took place in your home, okay? I know about the bathroom. I know about him being in the bathroom and so forth. I didn't know that he was in the bathroom, but I had an idea about it the next morning. And what what's the idea you had about it the next morning? <laughs> because, like, the thing, the, the glass things were off track. The shower they door? They weren't there. Did you question why the shower door was off track? I didn't because I didn't want to know. So basically, you're telling me that your main role in the, into this was, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, so correct me if I'm saying something wrong. I was to go with Amber, that's it. To get him back to the house, knowing that something was going to happen to him. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. After that, did you partake in anything? No. Cleaning, moving the body, disposing of the body? No. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. You've talked to patrol deputy and you've talked to me. Is that correct? Yeah. I've asked you a series of questions. Yes. Right. Is there something that I that I haven't asked you. I think we've gone over this before. Remember I had you raise your hand, you saw Miss Weather statement about to give me the whole truth and nothing but the truth? You remember giving me that statement? Mm -hmm. Do you remember when you gave me that statement that there was something else that you needed to tell me? Yeah. You knew it? Look, look at me, sweetheart. You knew it then, right? Yeah. Okay. But I was so scared. Okay. Now, is there anything that I haven't asked you that you think I should know before it bites you again. I'm trying to think. Okay. I didn't 
did not clean up. I did not do anything. I didn't even see the body at all. Okay. I was too scared to. We've gone over that, but my question was. And I peeked out the window and I saw them burning. I don't know what they were burning or anything. You saw them burning something out the window? Yeah. So if you look out your window, and I'm going to refer back to this drawing here. I've got a window. Where's your bed? This is your bedroom yeah, right I've here? I've got a window there and there. Right here's where the fire pit is. Okay. And this is where you saw something burning? Was it a small flame? Big flame? Like, at first it was small. Like, I looked out, out for like a good couple minutes. Like, I kept peeking. Because you know it. You want to know what happened. Yeah. And like, all I saw was like them putting leaves in and like branches and stuff in it. And like that's all I saw. How tall was the flame? It, like at one point. If it you could stand up and hold your hand up and stand up and shut tell me how tall the flame was. At one point it went up like 20 feet. Like it, there's a tree right, like not right over top, but there's where branches are. I thought it was going to catch it on fire. So it was that high? Yeah. Beyond, this, point, beyond this ceiling? Yeah. Nothing but flames. There was some, yeah. Like that's what I'm saying. Yeah, all flames. Flame, well, like the flames were also covered in smoke, so I didn't couldn't really see how far they went up. But you know they were burning the treetop. Yeah, like I thought they were burning the tree. They might be burning the tree, but I haven't seen it. But like it was taller than this family. Okay. All right. I didn't see what they were burning. I didn't know anything like that. Okay. All right, sit back here for a second, okay? One more question for now. So we come up with something else. Roach. He was there. Okay. Tell me about Roach. He was there. I mean, I didn't see anything that he did. But he was there. Yeah. Okay. Because you tried to subtract him from this equation. Y'all together? Be honest no, with I'm married. He's in prison. I know. He's going to be in prison for how long? A year. Huh? A year. A year. Okay. But I don't care. I'm going to stay faithful to my husband. There's nothing going on between you and Roach. No. Roach ain't going to tell me nothing different. No, you better not. I'm going to kill him. Not kill him, but I'll punch him in the face. Is there something going on? Tell me. No, I swear. There's nothing going on between me and Roach. Well, why would you want to protect Roach? I mean, you put everybody in this picture except Roach. Say, you said in the beginning Roach wasn't even there. Because he kept saying, keep me out of this, keep me out of this. Has to be the reason. I'm sure everybody else was saying, keep me out of this too. You didn't keep everybody else out of this. <coughs> you kept one person that you just wanted to continue to keep out of this, Roach. We have nothing going on. I'm just trying to figure out why. If you tell me you have nothing going on, I'm going to accept that. But I'm just trying to figure out why would you, this one person and not the rest. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, put yourself in my shoes. I have to ask these questions. So the only reason why you left him out is because he asked you to. No, everybody did. I mean... Everybody did what? You're not making sense to me. Like, they, no one wanted to be anything. Like, no one wanted to be said about anything. No one wanted to be what? It, no, I don't know. I don't understand what you're saying, sweetheart. I don't know. Obviously, it's already come out. It's out. You brush your teeth, right? Yeah. You know what toothpaste looks like, right? Yeah. You ever mashed it? Yeah. You ever try to put it back in there? It can't go back in. Okay. I want my mom and mother-in-law. Can't go back in, can it? No. 
Once it's out, it's out. You see where we are now? Toothpaste has been mashed. It is what it is. Okay? All we're doing now is sifting through all the all the mess. Okay? Do you do you let me ask you something? Do you think what you did was right or wrong? I think it was wrong. So you know what you did was wrong, right? Well, at least I, I'm, I'm getting that from you. We, we know the difference between right and wrong. I just want to die. I don't want you to... You have a baby to live for, okay? Yeah, but how am I going to live for it if I'm in jail? It's a bridge we have to cross when, when we get there. Okay? I want my mother to live here. Okay. I don't have my phone, so I can't call her or anything. I don't have her number. Okay, well, I get a hold of her first. Where's your mom at? Your dad? You don't deal with your mom, your parents? Why? They had a chance to get me back and they didn't. Stop picking at a thing on your head. You're going to make it worse. I don't care. Well, relax. I don't want you to get all upset. Okay? Alright? I love my mother and mother here. All right, we're, we're trying to get a hold of her, okay? You know, I don't even know how to get a hold of her. If you give me your phone. Where's your phone? The cop took it. Okay. Is your mother-in-law's number in the phone? Yes, yeah, under Mom Kathy. Mom Kathy? Okay. Well, we'll, we'll make arrangements shortly, and I, I, I let her know what's going on, okay? I just need to get a hold of her. Okay. All right, we're just relaxing your portion of it. She might not answer. I need it. Like, you need a text her. Okay. my phone. Okay, well calm down, okay? Can you try to get Tracy or someone in here to talk to me? Yeah, hold on a second. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I really appreciate you watching this video in this series. There's going to be more episodes within this series, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe with bell notifications on and check in often, because I'm going to be releasing the next episode super soon. Please make sure you follow me on Facebook. Subscribe to my second YouTube channel. I'll leave all these links down below for you to find very easily. I want your time here at the circus to be a good one. And until next time, remember to stay safe out there, because you know... It's a dangerous world.